I'm Dale Manton. And I'm Kelsey Andretanti. And we got a lot to cover today, oh, as we usually do. I feel like it's like the Lorne Park, the Lorne Park rundown today because... Lorne Park show, right? That's what we said? Basically. The Lorne Park show. Basically. <laughs> and we're going to start off the Lorne Park show by discussing some basketball. Now, basketball is under season, or underway for the season for the ladies, and it was proved to be an exciting matchup between Father Gates and Lorne Park. So with that being said, let's get to it. Elkins Spartans would be defending home court in this matchup. And Gates would go off to a solid start, seeing the ball around the perimeter. And it goes to Nikki Egalis for the quarter three. Egalis showing that she can get it done on the defensive end as she shifts the ball away and goes Dolo for the easy lay -in. Now, LP not wanting to be outdone on their own floor. Off the miss, they use their size to their advantage in the paint. And Shannon Norby was able to capitalize off the miss. And at the end of the first cue, LP is up by a deuce. Second cue now, LP using their size once again. Off the inbounds pass, Norby calling for it and gets the bucket to go. But, hold on. Egalis gets her Derrick Rose on by cutting through the D like butter and puts up the floater. What an amazing shot right there. But once again, LP plays to the strengths. Norton goes hard in the paint. Look at that. LP still up by a deuce with just over two minutes and half time. LP revised the strategy, but it didn't work on this play as they come charging out the gate and they get to land to go on the fast bridge. Now, next play, they get it to Renee Bridgewater, and she goes beyond the arc, 4-3, to three, as lights out from Young and Vendaz, Gates is starting, up, starting to turn up. Now, there's meaning behind the fridge, if it broke, don't fix it, and it holds weight, as we see another trifecta splash from Bridgewater. And LP starting to tighten up another, and force the turnover, leading to the breakaway bucket, as you're about to see in 3, 2, 1, boom, right there. Gates is looking to steal one with eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Eli does, spots up and misses, but off the rebound, she spots up again. Same shot, better results. And once again, Eli does, looking like skips him a loop from the end one days. Egalis splits the D and throws up the well flush. And that would be a game clincher as Father Gates rips it on the road for the 48-44 victory. Hi, I'm Samuel Ashton. Today we're here at Lauren Park Secondary School in Mississauga. We just witnessed the Lauren Park Spartans versus the uh, Father Gates Gators. That was an amazing game the two teams just played. They pushed out really hard and executed strong offense and defense on both sides. But in the end, the Father Gates Gators came through and pushed for the win. Congratulations to both of you. Uh, offense was just amazing and perimeter shooting was really a key element in the game. How do you guys think you solidified that throughout the game? Um, well, their players are really big, so I mean, we just had to be really guard heavy and get as much shots up as we can. Um, and we have strong shooters on the outside, so as long as we just swung the ball and got our shots up, we know that it was going to sink. Good. How about yourself? Yeah, um, I just think penetration was really key and then dishing out to our shooters. And Yeah, I'd say penetration was really a key factor for sure. Uh, the perimeter shots were just very consistent throughout. Uh, how do you think the defense played a role in the game? Um, our defense, I think, was shaky at first, but um, once we got into it, our intensity picked up, and whether it was man or zone, we just put our heads in it, and it came through, I think. Uh, we really had to move around.